Hello there, dreamers. Welcome to Dead Air. Dead Air is a spiritual successor to Dead Wire, which we played before, and it's also made by Zazer. It promises to have plenty of new weapons, baddies, and bizarro creep factor. And if this title screen is anything to go by, we may be in for a treat. We're going to play an ultraviolet because that's what we do around here. And we have this spooky chair and spooky light bulb. Why are we here exactly? Well, let's read the storyline in the included text file. The UAC's global news network is down for repairs following some rather unusual signal interference. As one of the company's top network engineers, it falls on your shoulders to debug the system. All in a day's work, right? This map tells the tale of what happens next. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Right, well, what does happen next? Probably dying. But we're going to try our best to not die. We're going to try and do this in a single run um hasn't haven't had that much luck with it to be honest I, I i mean i've i've completed it but trying to do it all in one run has proven to be a bit of a challenge we're inside the server mainframe i guess but uh unlike most servers it has a dead marine and a pistol in it um pretty safe to say that this wad is um i don't know if it's necessarily fair to say that it's hard I think the start of it is harder than the later sections because you end up becoming quite powerful, but these are famous last words of course. You say things like this before you die within seconds of saying such folly. And you may also think looking at this bit, it's very reminiscent of um of uh Dead Wire but with the invisible enemies, but Perhaps not. We're, but we need to traverse the server farm to see where we're going. We're si we are a Cisco certified engineer, and we need to debug this problem. We might have found it. And here we are. Out in the town. So there's a lot of things we're going to have to try and do well in order to be successful in this ward. And... Um, what it kind of comes down to is your ability to manage situations well. Um, it's not enough to just really sort of tank in and hope that you come out the other side all right, because you probably won't. Um, but with a bit of a bit of thinking, a bit of thinking goes a long way in this ward, I guess is what I'm going to try and say. Um, Certainly, there's, there's plenty to do. All the guns are new. Um, and other than one particularly friendly chuckle buck that we all know and love, there he is up there. Um, just about everything else is different as well. Now, You'll see me switching to use this pistol a fair bit, and that's because we are not hugely flush with ammo in this particular wad. Um, this doesn't look ominous at all. Let's get it. They have not seen me, but they will in a second. We're going to sort of cheapen this fight a little bit by going down these stairs, and then we're just going to pistol them until they die. The pinkies look odd, huh? Something's not quite right about them. They're a different colour, for a start. They're a bit tanned, perhaps. They're definitely not as pinky. They're more like a... tanny. A paley. Paley? Um, and they're also a fair bit more dangerous than our typical pink friends um, I don't exactly know what that is. I think they do more damage, and I think combined with the fact that there's just generally less in the way of, like, armor in this in this level. Um, yeah, they can they can do you a mischief if you, if you don't keep an eye on them. Um, that's all fine. I mean. 
This all seems reasonable enough, right? You're pretty standard doom map. I mean, how many enemies are there? Oh. 1,854 is what that number says. And we have killed 50 so far. I mean, it feels like we've been shooting for quite a while, and apparently we have killed but not even a fraction of the enemies that we are going to need to try and fit down. So that's good. Let's get this. Wake these guys up. Give them a wee bit of love. Try and get these guys under control. Capital, right. There are some more guys that are going to try making their way over from there. And there's also some revenants which are going to just be battering fucking homing missiles at us from over there as well. But that's alright. What about this button over here? I mean, it looks innocent enough, right? What about this eyeball? Uh, I'm not, not into eyeballs, but what about the button? Oh, good. Oh, that is a cheery looking caca demon. That is no ordinary Kakademon, no friends. It fires screaming eyeballs. Or possibly Cheerios, it's hard to say. Now where is this friend gone? Oh, he's up there. But it doesn't matter because we've now got an upgraded fucking pistol that fires purple spurts. Those screaming O's, they hurt, man. There's one thing in life that I can bestow on to you. It is my warning of not allowing any screaming O's to hit you. Okay, well that was fun, wasn't it? Maybe if we clear these guys out, we can have even more fun. We've got a healthy amount of health. We've got a not too disgraceful amount of armor. Can you fuck off? Thanks. Every time, every time I, I, I'm looking to the right when I go around there, every single time. Posted. So I like the urban feel of this map. I mean, it is very different, obviously, from Void, but you see a lot of city maps in Doom, and you know they just look a bit kind of shit. The only thing I would say about this one is it's it's very bright out here. Um, but I mean, it looks nice. It has just about the right sort of scale to it to not look ridiculous, because I think that's often the challenge with them. It's like, how do you scale it so it's easy to texture and it looks kind of like a city? I think this is quite a reasonable balance. Good, good. Good, 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 good. Now, there's going to be a few little pockets of enemies, undoubtedly, just sort of roaming around. Uh, we'll need to try and sort some of them out beforehand. There is a door in there, but I, I actually have no compelling reason to go in there. So we're just going to ignore it, pretend it doesn't exist. We'll go up here, though. Uh, 
get some armor bonuses, and then kill these guys. Ideally, you don't want to be worrying about getting flanked. Not in, not when you see some of the stuff that this one throws at you. Good. That's a nice start. Okay. Nice. Okay. How's it looking over here? Ah, yes. I have no mouth, but I must mouth. With my mouth. Right. Okay. Nice. Let's go up here. Uh, we don't... Well, I suppose we could pick that up, actually. We might as well. Uh, and if we do a little strafing run over here, huh, we can get ourselves a shiny new toy and some shiny new enemies. Now, I've found from experimentation that the best way to deal with this is to go straight on. Ideally not get chewed by the demons. That was only because I was fucking explaining my actions. And then use your brand new shrapnel cannon to rip them to shreds. Even better if you can get a revenant to help you do it. Ow. I misjudged that a bit. Now, the way this works is there's now going to be fucking little pockets of enemies just lurking about all over the place. Like, literally all over the place. So, you have to be quite on your toes. Good. That's what I want to see. Now, pressing onwards a little bit, get some armor. Just a little bit. I want to check what's here. Where did you come from? What plane of hell did you emerge out of, you cheeky fuck? Right. I'm not convinced that's all of them. Normally it isn't. There's probably one other guy just sort of dicking around. And my W... For this happened before, my W key seems to keep sticking. I don't know if it's because I'm not hitting it enough. Given this keyboard should be ready for gaming, I don't quite understand why it's behaving like that, but... Okay. Fair enough. Let's run along this little ledge. This sneaky little ledge. Let's see where that leads, eh? To a secret. Fantastic. Now we've got an amazing 264 health. That sounds like a lot. Oh. What? Oh. Alright. Sure. Sure. Thanks. Uh, oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to knock my mic there. Now, uh, I think that's everything in this area. I think the next thing is for us to continue on. To building four. How interesting. But what happens in building four? They got some nice flashing colours. They've got a nice little lantern garden that we can't visit, which I'm, I'm very upset about. Not allowed out there. There's also a guy hanging. Oh, I'm hanging. I'm hanging like it's a Friday morning. And we've got these nice little suspended bits. It's all nice, isn't it? Urban. Nice. It's nice. Look at this. Look at these benches. Beautiful. You could just sit down here forever. I don't like the sound of that, actually. That sounds a bit dark, but that's okay. And this looks fine. Why is there a monster there? Nobody knows. He's just hanging out. You should be at home, shouldn't you? Stay home. Uh, keep the... Keep the... What's it called? Phobos Health Service safe. There you go. Okay, we don't want to pick that up, but we do need to cross that. And you should be able to tell a mile away that something bad is going to happen. You may not quite appreciate exactly what, though. So let's do it. Now, we need to do a quick bit of manoeuvring here, or else we are going to get fucked. It's entirely possible that we're going to get fucked anyway, though, because 
I have tried this a few times and it just goes wrong because, you know, reasons. But we are in our little strongholds, which is excellent. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do this fight. I don't know if there is a way you are supposed to do this fight, but um, I've had a lot of success with this way. So, let's do that. Ideally, I want this fucking... Yeah, there we go. I wanted him to die because I need to kill these dudes who are projecting fireballs at us from the bridge. Oh, they're going to get really, really irritating. And then because these guys are too wide, they can't actually get in here. Um, also, what's quite nice is there is some infighting happening. We just need to watch in case any of those imps get too close. There should be a little troop of them en route from somewhat further away. I guess that's what's attacking these guys now. Yeah. He'd actually penetrated my little castle. Cheeky fuck. Right. Okay. Okay. This isn't all the enemies, but that's all the enemies that could be bothered to come at that particular time. As you can see, there are more enemies to worry about. Ow. Nice. And the lift is down. Although we're not we're not actually quite done, as it would turn out. As I recall, there are a bunch more enemies here to sort of just sort of guard the back entrance for whatever reason. Just in case we were going to try and win that fight by, I don't know, falling back a bit. They are there to prevent your escape. We can probably use this a bit. <clears throat> There's an overabundance of shells in this area. As I said, I don't know exactly how you're supposed to do that fight, but um, uh, that tactic works. Is it cheap? Possibly. Have we employed multiple cheap tactics this uh, this ward playthrough? Yep. Yep, we have. Is it justified? Well, I fucking think so, because this ward... Uh, it's, uh, yeah. But here we are. Building number four. Let's go into... Building number four. We could get that armor, but for three armor, I don't really care. What's behind door number four, Bob? Oh, monsters. Too many monsters. And they have been murdered. Those bastards. No. No, 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 no. No, then, no, then, no, then. What we want to do now is we want to get a key. We have a choice of three keys. Now, the astute Doomer will know that if we pick up one of these keys, there's almost certainly either a catch to it or it just kills us outright. And yeah, we can only get one of the keys. So we're going to get the red key first because that's what I've been doing. It's pretty stupid because the red key... Happens to lead to something quite difficult, but that's okay. But we, how do we get up there? Look, this is shut. Doesn't do anything. Uh, we need to go here. We need to rescue this little sphere from the wireframe circle that he's encased in. Uh, hmm. I recognize this. I wonder what that is. Hmm. I'm sure it's nothing. Cheery corn. Cheery oats. Cheery rice and fucking don't come and bite me, you 
cheery fucking arseholes. Ow. Oh, and I was doing so well there, and then the last one, I just... I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. I got confused. It's too stressful. Okay, and now that's open. Okay, great. But what about this spiral staircase here, I hear you ask? Well, hmm, it doesn't open, but, you know, maybe with a bit of... a bit of sort of bullshit wall-running, prop-running trickery, we could, like... Uh, fail at it, that's what we could do. We could fail at it. But if we try again, and this time we move with a bit of fucking elegance, we can get over and then up the stairs into the secret library, which happens to have in it a pistol upgrade. So now the pistol goes pium, pium, pium. This W key is starting to stick a lot. This is undoubtedly going to get me killed in this bit because this may involve a bit of moving around. Uh, well, we've got 280 health, how can it go wrong? There's an old uh, mega sphere out there. Or, no, it's not, it's a soul sphere. No, it's not, it's a super charge. No, it's not, it's a soul sphere! It's a soul charge. A mega super duper sphere. And a weapon! Let's get it! Okay. We're in deep space. Uh, we can't pick that up. No, we have a weapon, which I believe is called the Plasma Mortar. And I am learning more and more about this is actually quite a powerful weapon, but you have to use it correctly. Otherwise, this it doesn't work very well. It's essentially like a BFG, but the shell travels slower and it fires faster. You'll see. Um, this is also where we might die. So let's try it. That was a lot of impacts to take in one go. We managed to lose over 100 health in practically one go there. Which isn't perfect. I don't really want to pick that up right now. Uh, we do want to pick that up now. It looks like we haven't got any Cheerios following us at this particular moment. But that might just be... luck of the circumstances. So the thing is the... Pre oh shit. I was hoping I had a bit more time than that. If the projectile travels, it can continue to kill things that it travels past. So it's actually almost worse to hit enemies with the projectile. Of course, the, the thing which is really irritating in this fight is these fucking caca demons, which are just constantly on your ass, and those fucking Cheerio shells just fly around. If they miss you, they can, in theory, come back and hit you from off the level, which is not ideal. I'm taking a lot of damage. Uh... I need to get some health, I need to get some ammo. We need to run a bit. There's a lot of them. Also, for some reason, they stop playing their sounds after a while too, which is unfortunate. That one is really far away. But now he's dead. Ah, oh, okay. Fantastic. I think that's just one left then, is it? You fucker. See, that's what I'm talking about. Because they don't really behave ow, like revenant fucking homers. Oh, Jesus. They can just sort of... <laughs> I fucking hate him. Honestly, I fucking hate him. He's coming. Look at that. He's coming. Here come that 
fucker. Alright, let's just get out of here. I don't want to play with that anymore. Um, yeah, he's coming. We're just going to get the blue key. We're not going to play with the Cheerios anymore. <sighs> I'm going to breathe a bit. I think I think actually what we might do is we'll go out and get that fucking soul sphere. I don't think it matters. I seem to remember there's a soul sphere in the area that we're going to, but uh, you never know. We can get the armor too. Great. Now, this next area is interesting because when I'd been playing this, just to familiarize myself with the level, I didn't have any problems with it. Since I've been trying to record it, I have got my ass kicked on this section. Uh, no, sorry, not this section. The green section. Uh, what am I talking about? We're getting ahead of ourselves. Blue first. Blue's fun. Everyone loves blue. Blue. Um, blue. ba ba dee ba da ba die. And then we've got this sexy looking gun here. Which is quite loud. It's also quite ammo hungry. Now if we run back quickly we can get hopefully not fireballed. We can get some more bullets. Which is useful because this thing it it sucks bullets. It sucks them hard. I hear you. Hi. So this area is re relatively straightforward. As long as you just don't rush ahead. That's the thing that tends to fuck you over. Um, now we want to try and clear out some of these cackle cocks. Before we try and go anywhere. Yeah, you. No fear. Oh, that was such bullshit. Honestly. Honestly. I'm just sizing up my different guns. Yeah? Half the time when that fires, it almost sounds like it's going to do the... That, well, you know what the sound effect is. If you recognize it, I don't need to say anything. Dugga, 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 dugga. I think there's another one still. Ah, oh, maybe not. Okay, we got a full plethora of bullets. Let's see what else is going on in here. Do, do, do. The music is quite fun. It's a bit like a bit like Unreal Tournament or something. I think. Uh, there is something that we need to trigger. There we go. Oh, 
Oh oh. So I'm not saying much because I'm just trying trying my best to conserve health for the eventual bullshittery. So this is kind of like the big fight because most of the area is now opened up. Um, so we need to just be a wee bit mindful of that. I'd really rather not use all my cells up, but as I said, this gun chews through ammo like nobody's business. I think we're about done now. Did you burp? Disgusting. Good. So now we just have some bits to trigger, which will raise and lower, but. I think we killed everything. I was wrong. I was wrong. This is the first time for everything, it seems. Never. Oh. Hi. We have no melee weapon in this ward. We can't punch anything. Um, what's this? Oh. What's that? Is that another pistol upgrade? I don't mind if I do. Capital. Kick it up a notch. No, it sounds like that. Green lasers. Great, okay. Enough dicking about here. Let's get the green key. I gen I, I'm not kidding when I, when I say I, I genuinely did not have a problem with this next area. Um, I guess it's like stage fright or something. I don't know. Maybe it's because the gun that you get is possibly the, the strangest one and the one that's most likely to get you... Well, that's not true. It's one of the ones that's more likely to get you killed perhaps than others. It's so much so that I'm almost tempted to drop a save just to, to safeguard against this. But we're doing, we're doing well. It's fine. It's fine. Let's do it. Uh, I don't want to get that, but I do want to reveal these guys. And you can see already that there is a ton of bullshit fucking coming up. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. We are just going to run straight up here and we are going to try and deal with these guys, hopefully without making too much of a pig of it. And as you can see, there is a lot of shit coming our way. Holy shit. We're okay in some ways, other ways not so much. Nice shot, mate. We're going to push that just because we need to do it at some point. I mean, you can see what's going on, can't you? You've got sniping 
revenants just fucking all over the place on different elevations as well which I'm pretty sure must be like a cardinal sin of fucking doom level development because of the strange way that the fucking projectiles behave when they're going up or down but ow thankfully there's some limited health up here so we can take a bit of a bit of a bloody nose ow I don't know what that was about but okay fucking secret heavy weapons dude fucking hiding in the back there How is he not dead yet? Holy shit. There he goes. Right. Okay. We're, we're getting there. I know this seems really stupid, but... Yeah, I don't really like this gun all that much, it must be said. I'm almost tempted to just sit in the try and deal with these fuckers before we go any further, because they're going to be annoying otherwise. Oh, look at that. There's even more over there. Who's happy to see that? There are millions of these guys. Now, if, if things went a bit more orderly when we were downstairs, what we would have done would have been fucking spammed grenades into these little hovels, and that would have done a really good job of keeping them in order. But, um, you know, times change. Whoa, whoa, let's try and not run into non-guided revenant missiles. Let's also make sure the guided ones don't hit us. That's okay. Now there is a sort of a escape hatch in these sorts of arenas in that if you oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Whoa. Are they dead? Thank fuck for that. About time. I can still hear more revenants, but... Oh, Jesus. They are down there as well. Uh, can we just, like... Yeah. Alright. Okay. Feeling a bit more... See, I find you have to be really careful with these grenades, because otherwise you may find yourself uh, blowing yourself with them. And as much fun as that might sound, it, it's not really that much fun. What the fuck? I couldn't move around there. I don't know if that was my keyboard or what, but that all behaved very strangely. Right. What are you cheery lads doing? Whatever it is, stop it. For some reason, those um, things have erected without me going down there. Normally what happens is those monsters are in little depressions and then they come out to, to jump up at you. Now, you might think, oh well, we've killed a lot of them. Maybe you can go down there. No. 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 Not yet, anyway. We will need to go down there. Um, before we do that, though, did we... 
Did we push the button over here? Let's just check that we did. Alright, we pushed that one. I don't really want to backtrack too much. So then the other one is the one that's up here. And before Revenant, knew it. Knew it. Two! Two! At point blank range, you are a cunt, honestly. See, like there. Whoa. Uh, so we, we we got the upper hand on them by being a bit of a bullshit artist, but um, that's what I mean when I say this area is... It's quite risky to just drop in there, especially given that we're not the most flush with health. Truth be told. Besides, if we can get some cheap kills in there first. Trick shot. Uh, all the better, I think. Right then. I think that's probably them softened up enough. You wouldn't think so by the insane amounts of fucking fireballs that are coming out of their arses, but... Okay, right. Wish me luck. Okay. 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 No, just be cool. Good. Excellent, okay. Feeling alright about this now. And we get an upgraded pistol again. Doesn't that just sound like the bangingest shit? Mm. It's unlikely that that's gonna be something we'll need to rely on too much from here on out, but you never know. I think there's monsters in there. Silly old monsters. Silly old monsters. I'm not going to play with them. I'm done with monsters. Uh, I don't need that, actually. I suppose we might as well, but... Goodbye, fuckers. We have progressed. I guess he, I think what happens is each of the key doors, depending on which one you finish, you end up in one of these different skyscrapers. Oh boy! Oh boy! We've got a what's it called? An antimatter driver. Level the town. Um, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Something like that, my friend. Now, because we've got a backpack, we can actually pick up tons of ammo, which is good, because there's loads of ammo around here. Uh, though, in fairness, this is the most important gun, and you'll notice that it uses the old shootgun shells. Um, you may be thinking, are we perhaps moving into some kind of giant fight? Hmm, what do you think? Maybe an arch vial? Nah, that's a bit vanilla. Arch vials, Pfft. Give me some fucking Cheerio fire and caca demons, mate. That's what I want for my dinner. <sighs> right. So you'll see there's three power-ups here. Mega Sphere, or whatever that's called. An Invulnerability Sphere and an Invisibility Sphere. Now, ideally, 
I would like to only consume these things in a specific order. That depends, though, and if I run through the middle of this area like a dumbass and pick one up by mistake. But we're going to start balls to the wall with this. You will understand why in a second. Now, ideally we want to sort of dick around in the middle of this area first and sort of blow a hole outwards because if we try and go to the outsides too quickly what's going to happen is half of the monsters are still going to be there. Oh, by the way, everyone wanted to rocket jump into him? Your dream may just have come true. This gun is fucking powerful, but um, it's very easy to accidentally kill yourself with it. Um, it's another reason why the invulnerability is quite good fun, because you can do rocket jumps with it. We are somewhat wasting those boxes of shotgun shells at the moment, but we need to try and get this enemy situation under control. Thankfully this gun is extremely good at that. It's a bit reminiscent of the repeating cannon in Fear. Except even more ridiculous. Shotgun shells. There's a dead marine over there. There was a Cheerio there. We will need those shotgun shells, but ideally, we can get some mileage out of some of these other weapons. Approaching the last few enemies, which is uh, nice. In fact, I think this is the last one. So let's just consider this carefully. Time for you to die, dickhead. Now we want to get this. And now the fun begins. Ideally, I want them to soften each other up a bit first, and I want these grenades to also do some work in that regard. As you'll see, there's a fucking lot of these bastards. You don't really want to use that gun, because it's a waste of our shells. Our precious shells. Oh wow, that's a lot of them. I was forgetting about that.
Yeah, I hear you. Here, if we move quick enough, it shouldn't be a problem. But trying to aim while strafe running is a challenge anyway. There are so many of them, holy shit. And we're out of shotgun shells. Guess we're going to have to rely on other mechanisms. Although I do keep forgetting about this. This is quite good if you get enough sort of mortar shells on the go at once because of the, the sort of tracer effect. What is the tracer effect, do you ask? Well, it's where you have uh, a butt and you pose it. Oh, dickhead. I think we're getting to the bottom of this, you know? Yeah, there's a few. I'd like to not... No, I'd like to not use that gun. Keep doing that. It's like reflexive. It's like you get programmed into you that, you know, big guns in Doom are a valuable resource, so don't fucking waste them. Shit. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to happen quite so quickly. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Run, 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 run. Oh my god. I nearly fucked that up so hard. I need more shotgun shells immediately. This fight is fucking very hard indeed. We we have got to kill those cyber demon looking fellas as quickly as possible, because if our invisibility runs out beforehand, we are in very big trouble. Oops. I'll show you what happens actually, just because it's entertaining. Watch the missiles. You see how they're now coming at me? Fucking full pelt. Yeah, the missiles are like heat seeking. And look at how fucking many of them there are. And in fact, the only way to evade them is to strafe run. And just hope that they fucking hit the deck. As you can see, we have a fair following from the old Cheerio community. And uh, it just seems to be getting bigger by the day. That's, we're not talking about the, the butt thing anymore. That is a lot of Cheerios. What are you doing up there? See you later. Hell no. Bloody hell. 
Look how slowly that's going up. 96%, that's, that seems actually better than before. 54 minutes, slightly slower than I've done it anyway, but we did it. We did it without dying, holy shit. Oh my god, that was intense. Ah. And then what happens? Well, what happens is you start back here, but with all your cool stuff. Which we're not that interested in, to be fair. Anyway, kids, that was uh, Dead Air. I seriously hope, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed it. I had a great time. Uh, it's been a bit of a mission trying to actually get this thing recorded, but uh, yeah, thanks to Caesar, I guess. Um, maybe we'll see if we can check out the winning entry of the uh, Vine Sauce Doom contest thing and see what that's like. Must be better than this, surely, right? Um, maybe not. Uh, anyway, kids, it's been amazing uh, playing this for you. Thanks for watching. Hopefully see you on the next one.